Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant and I'm actually recording the challenge live. It's not pre-recorded gameplay with me commentating over it. I'm actually recording it live now. So let's see how we'll be able to do with getting through this challenge first, which is the Racing Stripes 3. So yeah, let's see what we'll be able to do with this one. Hopefully we won't have too many issues and are able to get through the carbon fiber. It is comments on comments and rares, and I do have a majority of nearly all of them. So hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. And also hopefully I won't have to max out my Nissan Almera. I do want to max it out. It's just, I don't really want to wait. Kind of just hope I can fly through these common rounds pretty easily, even though I don't really have much of them maxed. I just have a lot of Peugeot 404s maxed. I've got three of them. But yeah, hopefully we can just glide on through these common rounds and continue going through the 10 races because that would be very appreciated. So let's see, Nissan Almera wins. And so yeah, there we go. First race is done. And yeah, also something else. Race number six, they give out 40,000 cash. I don't think that's supposed to actually be like that. So that's also kind of why I'm hoping I could get to it before maybe they fix it or something. But I doubt they could fix it now because that wouldn't be very fair. So yeah, let's just continue onward. Um, that should work. That should work there. That could probably work there. And that could probably work there. So the indoor karting will be pretty interesting against our Peugeot. It'll be interesting to see if, because I know the Super Rex has insanely good OLA. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, the insanely good OLA definitely helped it. So we're going to have to switch things up a bit. So let's see what we could do. I mean... I don't really know what we could do. Kind of need to put that there. Is it requiring me to have this Maserati? Kind of seems like it is. I mean, I could grab that, use that there, use this. Well, no, that's the thing though, I can't use that. So I could do that. Hope that wins there on fast circuit, there we go. There. Ooh, that could be interesting. I think I might have figured it out. So we'll upgrade you a bit. We should have enough. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Now you're maxed. Let's also upgrade all our, our Albera to one star. There we go. Okay, coming out of server issues, thank you. There we go. Okay, so now we'll drop you there. We'll drop you there. You could go there, you could go there, and you could go there. And now let's see if this will work. So Ford LTD wins. There we go. Then, right here, Subaru Rex beats the other Subaru Rex. There we go, very nice. Then, we've got the Lancia. Hopefully the Lancia, yep, Lancia does do it. Okay, good. Then, we've got here, the Vauxhall Astra, which I feel like it should be able to do it. Yep, it does, very nice. Vauxhall Astra does do it. It's all down to the Nissan Almera. And it's rolling start, we've got better top speed and better handling. So there we go. We made it through this round. It did not require us to have to have that uh, Maserati. So next race now, uh-oh, it's North Loop, but maybe we could be chilling. That might be a bit of an issue, but okay, so we'll ditch the Subi. We could just grab you, except let's grab you and be just, we could grab that though. We do have the better top speed, similar to the 60s. I could do that. Or, actually, let's do something even different. Drop an upgrade into the weight, put the Monaco there, put you there, put you there. Except I feel like we might actually lose that. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see if we do lose that North Loop Relay too, because I kind of feel like we do, because that's a 332 spec. But there we go, we win North Loop Relay 1. So that's one race done, but now we gotta see if we lose to 332 spec. Their 0 to 60 is better. We've got the better handling though, so we have taken a bit of a lead. 
Okay, we do beat 332 spec. Okay. So that's good. That could have been a bit of an issue. That we went here because we've got the one weight upgrade. There we go. Then this should be a win because we're maxed out. This is definitely a win. And now this last race, the Almera should win because it's the big long drag and we've got 20 higher top speeds. So, yep. There we go. That could have been a bit scary just because North Loop is a scary track. But we were able to make it through. So that'll work there. Oh, we could just drop standard tires. So that works. We've got some RQ to work with as well. But I feel like we should just be fine with what we got. Yeah, this should all work. So let's just watch through it though, because with commons, you never know with commons. Commons could have a lot of weird results. But Dodge Monaco wins. Then we've got the Nissan Almera wins. Next up, we've got the Vauxhall Astra, which also wins. Very good. And then we've got the Peugeot, which also wins. All right, nice. So there we go. That's that round done. Round five now. And it's still requiring us to use comments. So let's see what we have to do. Okay. That's upgraded. So... We may need to do some upgrades, but we may not. We grab Subaru Rex, so Subaru Rex wins that. Then we've got you for that and you for that. 10472 could win that. Then we've got the Almera instead of you. Alright, so. Could the Astra beat the Hogger though? I feel I believe in our Vauxhall Astra. I believe our Vauxhall Astra could do it. So yeah, there we go. Let's run this and see how this works out. I have confidence in our Vauxhall Astra. So yeah, Omera wins there. Then the LTD wins here. Then we've got the Monaco, which should win here, which it does. All right, let's see. Can the Astra beat the Hogger? With comments, it's always weird who's got the better acceleration. We've got two better handling. There we go. And the Subaru Rex now also does it. Good. Okay, that's that round done now. On to round six. This is for all the cash. So, let's see. That is 332 spec. We could just upgrade him a bit. This does look a bit trickier. Except I feel like if, yeah, so let's just upgrade the Monaco a bit. And we should be able to win with this, I'm betting. There, 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 and there. I have a feeling this should be able to do it. LTD wins. There we go. Then, the Astra. Oh no, the Astra couldn't do it. The Astra could have pulled it off. All right, then that's a win. And so we'll have to we'll have to switch something up. I'll have to do some thinking. Subaru Rex wins though, which is good. And then the Monaco should also win. Yep, it does. So I'll just have to figure out something to win that hairpin road. I might just have to open up a plastic pack maybe. Because yeah, I don't think I have a car that could do it. Because that's yeah, that's got a tie. Unless, unless we could win the G-Force test with the Subaru Rex. So let's see. Hairpin Road, this should be a win. Yep, because we've got the five better handling. Very nice. Okay, the Subaru Rex actually did do it. I skipped through it just because this video is already getting kind of long. Five uncommons now is what's requiring us to have. This shouldn't be as difficult, I'm hoping, because I do have a lot of the uncommons maxed. Yeah, that's a win, that's a win, that's a win, that's a win, that's a win. Okay, this doesn't look very difficult at all because I've got nearly every uncommon maxed out besides like a few, a very small few. So we could skip through these and hopefully just get to that premium pack. Okay, drag, yes, drag, easy, easy, easy and easy. This is a very easy round, the difficulty definitely went down quite a lot so skip through this one now too 
It's like they wanted me to make the video shorter, which is good because I don't really want to have a 20 minute long challenge video. Because I don't really think you guys want to watch 20 minutes of challenge as well either. You guys just want to see all the good stuff. So yeah, there we go through the fast circuit. There we go, got the points. And for the premium pack round now, drop you there, there, there. Uh, we'll drop you there, drop you there. There we go, now we can just skip through the match and get our premium pack and we can hope maybe we can get something good. You're the Tiger Premium. Let's see if we can get lucky. Mitsubishi Colt, Chevy Cruze, Vauxhall Astra, Detomaso, and nope, Ford Sierra RS Cosworth. Okay, that's nothing special, but soon, 10 hours, we'll have that carbon fiber, hopefully. So yeah, I'll be back with that. Here we go with the next 10 rounds now to try and get that carbon fiber. And let's see if we will be able to do it. So continuing on now, and hopefully we can get something nice from that carbon fiber. That's really what I'm hoping for because there are some cars that I have a feeling could be pretty key further on in the challenge. Like the Maybach 62 Lawn Delay, Suzuki Kazashi, maybe that Jaguar XJ standard tires. And I do think I might need another Epic or Legendary if I want to go the entire way to win the Jaguar final prize car. So hopefully I can get something else from that then. Because so I've got three Epics, one Legendary. But I've got a feeling from what... The, I've got three really good Epics too. And one really good Legendary, which is maxed out. So that's kind of what I'm thinking then. I'm going to need at least one more Epic or Legend. So let's continue on through these rounds. And we can hope for the best from that carbon fiber. So let's switch up that uh, bimmer for that. Yeah, that probably works because we can do that, that, that. And then we've got these two for the drags. All right, cool. But yeah, so hopefully we could either get one of those ultra rares we need or an epic or legend because that would be amazing from the carbon fiber. That's really just what we're hoping for. Key ultra rare or epic or legend. Those would be what we want. So first we got to get to that carbon fiber though. So hopefully we can make it. We've got a motocross track. That's what the Land Rover comes in clutch for. We've got fast circuit, streets long. Yeah, all this should work. And we should be good. Just got to wait for the loading to end. And yeah, this is probably actually the furthest I've even gotten in a collection series. I mean, huh. I don't know. I don't really know. Collection series, the last time I did good in a collection series was a very long time ago. Because I did not do good at the one for the Buick GNX or the other one. Whatever that was, the Lancia. Okay, we are struggling to load for some reason. Hopefully it could load soon, please. The video's already kind of long. There we go. Alright, cool. So Land Rover wins here, probably by a lot of points, so I'll just skip through the match then. Yeah, we've got so much cushion. Wow, 291. Okay, there we go. And so that's that round done. And on to the next one. We've got a hill climb. Oh, we gotta drop our Land Rover. Okay, so we'll do that. We've got our hill climb, we've got that. We've got that, that, and that. There we go, very cool. And there's the glitch going on where you hear your money already being collected. So we know we already win, so let's just skip through it. We already know we need to win, so why continue watching? Okay, on to rares now. Pretty much already got all the rares I'm going to be using, because they're all maxed out already. So yeah, let's just use our maxed out cars, because we don't really have too many other upgraded rares. So hopefully we'll just be able to make it through. Here the money being collected, so we can just skip through the match. There we go. Round 16 now. There is no mixed, so hopefully we'll be able to just keep going there and there very good i hear the money so i listen to the money hearing it hearing the money be made all right round 17 now okay this is a bit more interesting looking but we should win that we can win that we can win that we can win that and win that yep here the money all right good because we win that one mile drag all right it's getting a bit tricky but we're almost there, round 18 now. Okay. So, that should win. That should win. That should win. Ooh, we're lesser RQ. 
Ooh, all right, but that could work. That could work, that could work. Then that works, and that works. Yep, I hear the money. We did it. Because there we go. Okay, skipping the match. 307. Round 19 now. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. There, there, there. Uh-oh, they've got the maxed out Orlando too. Whoa. Alright. This could be the part where I might need to actually go and upgrade stuff. Because I doubt we'll make enough bonus points. But let's see what we'll win and what we won't. Yeah, didn't hear the money. Hopefully we can win this fast circuit. Yep, we do. All right, good. So the Abarth wins that. That's something less we don't have to worry about then. Aston Martin V8 Volante wins the test bowl. Very good. That's important as well. Jaguar XJ6. Good. Wins the one mile drag. And then the... Renault Laguna Coupe beats the 2 through 3 spec. Very nice. And then we just tie on the G-Force test. So I might just have to upgrade, I'm thinking, my Dodge Neon. That might be what I'll have to upgrade. Upgrade it a bit up. And so yeah, pop a fuse into it, I'm thinking. Or I could do the other Laguna. That might even be a better decision. 1522, two. how much does the Neon weigh? One one. I don't know. I don't know. What do we go for? I feel like the Laguna might be the better option, though. So, yeah, let's just pop some upgrades into them right now. 6578. That would probably not be enough. Question is, though, can we win that one? No, but then we'd need him to go there. Hmm. Huh. feel like maybe we could win it right now with that. Except we don't really have a spot for the Laguna to go. Unless he wins the one mile. Laguna wins the one mile, we win the test bowl. We win that. We win that, we win that. Let's see. Let's see what happens. This might be the way to go. Depends if we win this test bowl as well, though. Can the XJ6 beat the XJ12? Yes. Alright, so there we go. Now, the question is... Can the Laguna beat the Grand Punto? It can. Alright. I know this is a win. Yep, by 97. Alright. Can the Max Laguna beat the Orlando? Looks like yes. Alright, we were actually able to do it. We just had to upgrade the Laguna Coupe a bit. So there we go. Got the token. Final round. Alright, it doesn't look really too bad. It actually looks rather simple. Strangely enough. Except, I don't really have a spot for this guy. How light are you? You're rather heavy. So we could grab our Dodge Neon and upgrade him a bit. Upgrade him on up. We get him to 7078. Okay, I don't really think. Maybe. Maybe. We might as well give it a shot while we're here, and then if not, we'll just upgrade stuff. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see what we need to upgrade and what we don't. So, Renault Laguna Coupe wins that. There we go. Then, the Dodge Neon RT Coupe wins. Okay, good. Now, let's see if we can win this one. We've got a 0 to 60 difference, but we do have 4 better handling. So hopefully going around the circle, we could get a bit of a lead. Yep, alright, good. So that's 3 down. Then, we've got Tokyo Loop. I feel like we should win the Tokyo Loop because of our MRA advantage. Yep, alright, that's good. And now, the final race. And this one should be an easy win. Alright, there we go. We've got the carbon fiber. Can we get something very cool? 
here are the Tiger Carbon Fiber. Let's see what we can do. Subaru Legacy Outback BG. Jaguar XJ6, another one. Aston Martin V8. Okay, Nissan X-Trail, and... Ooh! That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. That's an epic. All right. Hmm. That could be the car that we need. I don't know, though, because we don't know what the final rounds are looking like. But it might be what we need. That could be our key. We've got Racing Stripes done. Let's check out what year the Tiger is looking like. We've got five. We've got our final hand. Just might need to max out the XKR75. I wouldn't really mind maxing out the XKR75. I've got the fuse material. If I do need, if it comes to that, I need to. Because I don't really think I need to upgrade the C30 Polestar performance too much. So yeah. Could be pretty interesting. It is not the greatest epic. But... It's still not the worst. We could have got the 535i or we could have got the Impreza GC8F and that it might not have been as great. So this could be pretty interesting. I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, we'll be seeing that in whatever the next video is. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.